28th and I just applied the moisturizer onto my face and my skin already looks pretty bright and awake so I'm really excited about the results of this. So far, um, no breakouts. I believe this is day three of using the Glow Recipe Pink Juice Moisturizer. But I'm really loving how soft and glowy my face looks and it feels incredibly soft and smooth. So, so far so good. All right, so I just got home from work and I saw a package on the table for me and it was from Glow Recipe so I'm about 150% sure that is my new blueberry bounce cleanser and I'm so excited! I'm like doing everything I can not to just like completely rip it open. I was like, I was on the waiting list for it and I was super excited when they finally like restocked it and I could finally get it. But yeah, I've noticed, um, I know I said earlier that I didn't see any breakouts but now my face is definitely breaking out and I have, um, I have seen some reviews on the Glow Recipe Moisturizer and how it has broken people out like pretty darn bad. And even though I really love like literally the instant like glow my skin gets and how soft it's been, it's just like, eh, the, way, the, the scales are uneven. As soon as I start breaking out from something, it's like automatically like a no-go. But I have decided that I will continue to use it for another week and kind of see if maybe it subsides. I'll continue using it, yeah, probably another week. And if it doesn't go down, I'm gonna order the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream again, even though it's really tiny. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I can learn how to kind of use a little bit less. Kind of, I'm also really bad at portion control, so <laughs> I'm working on that too. With the skincare journey, I'm, I need to work on portion control. So I'm not like buying like two jars of everything every like two months. It's ridiculous. So um, yeah, we'll give this a try for about another like week or two. And if it, the acne just the, doesn't go away, if the breakouts don't stop, then I'm definitely just gonna go back to the Claire's uh, calming cream and then do some more research on some other moisturizers that I think would be better for my skin. So, which sucks because I was really, really, I love the whole look. I love the whole pink and the watermelon theme of the moisturizer. So I was really stoked to try it and use it. And the mask didn't break me out, but then again, I only used the mask one time. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'll, eh, I'll see what I can do with it. If I have to sell it, then I will. But as of right now, the, the breakouts are, you know, being acne, my skin is, acne prone. I have acne prone skin. That's already an issue for me. So I don't want to make it worse, but you guys can, it's pretty easy to see the forms that, the bumps that are now kind of like forming on my face, especially along my cheeks here is where I tend to break out the most. So in another week we will introduce the cleanser and determine if I need to go and change my moisturizer again, but that's it for today so far. <music> Today is March 30th, and I know it looks like I'm not wearing anything, but I have a tube top on, I promise. I got another package today, and so I thought that I would do kind of like a, an unboxing for you guys. So this is from Glow Recipe. This is going to be the hopefully the blueberry uh, bounce cleanser that I ordered in replacing the, or that will be replacing the uh, Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser that I've been using for the last like month and a half or so. Lowering, lowering, lowering. Oh, it's open. Okay. And then it came with this cute little glow recipe book. Hopefully you guys, hopefully this can focus in on that. You can see that a little bit. No, oh! they have little samples on the back. So they have this tea tree 90 essence and the soothing and healing green tea for oil control and clarifying pores. I might have to uh, invest some research into this oil controlling purifying pore one, the Soothing and Healing Green Tea by Blythe. Ooh, interesting. So it's just like this little guide that kind of goes through like the 10 step Korean skincare routine basics and then just kind of like explains the different pot products that you can find in K-Beauty such as like an oil cleanser or the milk peeling swabs, you know, eye creams, uh, toners, essence serums, overnight masks, facial oils, all that stuff. So, so if the light keeps trying, changing, I'm trying to get some sunlight in here. I need some natural light today, but oh, cute. I do have to say like Glow Recipe has some of the cutest packaging I've ever seen um, 
Let me grab. Here's the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Hold on, let me see if I can get this to focus a little bit. But you can see all the really cute like blueberry detailing. It's just a basic white like paper box with just like some of the basic black print and a really cute like painting of whatever fruit or ingredient it is. And then here's the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And they're pretty similar. This this one too has the uh, you know basic white box with the black lettering and the cute little watermelons all down the side. Oh, cute! And it has the little design on the inside too. Is this so cute? I'm so excited. Oh my god. So, it is a little smaller than what I thought it was going to be. It actually looked bigger on the uh, on the website, but that's okay. You can also use it as a mask. Apply a generous layer to clean dry skin, add water to lather, and rinse after five to eight minutes. I wonder if I could do this every, you know, in the mornings, like when I'm cleansing, you know, I'll foam it up and then, like it says, and then just leave it on for like five minutes and then rinse it off. Like might as well use it for both, but. Simplified skincare with maximized post facial results. Blueberry antioxidants and hyaluronic acid. So hopefully this will provide some more moisture um, to my skin. I've, it's been feeling a little dry and dehydrated. Um, I've done some reading on oily skin types and oily skin types tend to be or tend to have dehydrated skin. Just because you have an oily skin type or have oily skin doesn't mean you should be skipping out or avoiding hydrating ingredients in products or products that are going to provide hydration. A lot of the times that's what oily skin needs too. And that's what's gonna help control the oil is by giving your skin the moisture it needs so that it can stop overproducing all that sebum. I did say I was gonna keep using the Glow Recipe moisturizer for another week and kind of see how my face does and then introduce this cleanser. That way I've, I'll always try, if, when I'm introducing new products, try to use it um, for two weeks before introducing another new product. That way I kind of like give, give my skin time to adjust to that one product. Sometimes I'll wait three weeks, sometimes even a month, just kind of depends. So uh, we won't be using this right away. So if you don't see me actually using it in this vlog, that is why I'm trying to be as thorough. And yeah, I'm just trying to be really thorough and careful with this new skincare journey. Like the whole point was to not um, overwhelm my skin with so many products and kind of taking it a product at, at a time and seeing how my skin works with it, reacts to it. So. Um, I won't be like rushing into products with this vlog going on. So if the skincare reviews are, you know, few and far between, I apologize. But that this is kind of important and it has like a bigger meaning behind it too. It's gonna affect how the rest of my channel works as well. So this is really important and I hope you guys understand. Let's open up. The other one is from Soko Glam. I ordered the their new like uh, PHA facial mist because right now it is the Neogen H2 Dermadeca uh, serum spray and I love it. I love this. It was, it's the first facial mist I've actually ever used. I wasn't really into the whole like facial misting thing, but honestly like this has saved me sometimes. Like when my skin is just so dry and uncomfortable, this has literally like saved my skin. And uh, just over these last few months, I've been like, I've been, I had been getting these like to back like colds and flus and so I was doing a lot of uh, blowing my nose and I would bring this to work with me and every time I was done blowing my nose I would you know spritz my right and directly on my nose I'd spritz like twice and pat it in and it literally kept my nose from becoming uh, scaly or kept it from peeling it just kept it really moisturized and soft didn't irritate it at all it didn't it doesn't sting so this is definitely like I highly highly recommend this one, let me see if we can hold still. So it has done well by me. <laughs> so I decided that one, I was gonna give Cosrx another try. If you've seen my Cosrx video, which honestly was like the most terrible review, I really wanna do like another like uh, brand review of Cosrx again, but like slowly over, like introducing new products over time, which is exactly why I'm doing this new vlog again. But yeah, I ordered the new PHA facial serum. PHA stands for polyhydroxy acid. And it's supposed to be much gentler 
to the skin than an AHA or a BHA, which is great because I have sensitive skin. Ooh, they sent me a sample of the marshmallow cleansing foam by uh, E Nature, so. Ooh, that's interesting. I love this box. I've been really into like periwinkle, like more gray toned lavender shades or more like gray toned purple shades. It's so pretty. I really love this, the color of this box. It's really cute. Again, I'm like a sucker for packaging and I, I like basic minimal packaging. That's weird, that, that sounds so boring and like so basic, but I don't care, it's what I like. Sometimes I feel if a product is overdone, it's gonna be like too much for my skin. Like they probably have a lot of fragrances and you know, oils and stuff in that in them. It is so cute, it has this like ombre effect of the, uh, you know, blue going into the transparent or vice versa. It's so cute and it's so skinny. Hold on, let me see if I can get my camera to focus on it real quick. There's no smell. There's no smell like at all. I'd put it on my face but I have makeup on right now, but there's absolutely like no smell, no alcoholic smell, like nothing. So low pH, PHA barrier mist mainly helps your skin maintain low pH level. It works as a shield keeping prior skincare steps from evaporating and make your face moisturized. I am totally stoked for this. I'm gonna definitely try this out. Maybe even today, maybe like just spray it over my makeup, see how it does, but uh, I'll definitely try it in the morning for sure. But yeah, I'll either do, an, my next update will be when I either use that spray or at the end of, or a week from now to take a look again at the pink juice moisturizer and kind of determine if that is still the moisturizer I want to use. Um, right now I'm not a major fan, but again, I've only used it for a week and I've been kind of breaking out, but it could very well be to the, due to the fact that I totally, uh, downed an entire bag of jelly beans the other days. And then I've also just ended my period, so that probably has something to do with the recent breakout that I've had. But yeah, either I will see you guys tomorrow when I try out the new mist, or in a week from now. Alrighty guys, so, I know you're probably like, oh my god, where'd your hair go? I just finished filming my Big Chop video. But, just a quick skincare vlog update. Um, it's been about another week. So yeah, today's April 8th. It's been about another week since I have been using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice uh, Moisturizer. And tonight when I take off my makeup, I will vlog that whole process so you guys can kind of see my face. I have a lot of makeup on right now, so you can't see the extent of my breakout, but I'm still breaking out like really badly. I posted in my Facebook group, the Korean Beauty Review, about the moisturizer, kind of like asking if anybody else has had a bad experience with it. And another girl in my group had the exact same reaction. So I have ordered the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum and the Claire's Rich uh, Moist Soothing Cream as my next serums and moisturizers. And even though I loved their Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drops, and the calming cream, it's really expensive. It's like $35 for like both, it's ridiculous. So the soothing cream and the soothing serums are, you know, a bit cheaper, about $10, uh, $15 cheaper. So I decided to go with that. And I tried a sample of the Claire's Smoothing Serum a couple months back and I loved it. And uh, it's supposed to help calm inflammation and acne and breakouts and things of that sort and be, uh, and it's just and it's supposed to be really beneficial for sensitive skin type so I'm gonna try those out I think tonight I'm going to start using my uh, blueberry bounce uh, gentle cleanser and then until the next cream comes in I'll still continue to use this that way only one variable is changing in my routine but that's the plan right now I'll start using the bounce cleanser now and in about two weeks I will start I will then introduce the moisturizer and then maybe a week or two after that I will introduce the serum so be patient with me I just like I said I only want one variable changing so I kind of know what is affecting the routine and what isn't I don't want to do like a separate review video for the moisturizer because I don't like doing reviews on things I don't really like especially if I don't have anything nice to really say about it it does 
although it does make my skin very glowy and really bright and I really liked that. It's just I don't like the other effect. I don't like the whole breaking out thing. So unfortunately, this is a no-go for me. It's very pretty and it'll make for a really great aesthetic piece on my vanity, but that's that's about it so far. I actually like the watermelon glow mask because you know I only have to wear it for like 10 minutes. I don't use it as an overnight mask because I'm too scared now because of what the moisturizer did. But um, I think I'll continue using the watermelon glow mask as like a 10 minute mask um, every once in a while. So that's where I'm at with that. So today is April 9th and it is just about 9.17. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the new blueberry bounce cleanser that I finally got after having been on the freaking waiting list for like a however many months. I really like it so far. Like I can cleanse my face and it doesn't give me that tight feeling. I take that back. It gives me a little bit of a tight feeling after using my oil cleanser first, but in the mornings when I don't use my oil cleanser, my face feels really hydrated and just balanced after using it. It's just this really nice, like, clear consistency. I already have a little bit on my finger, but ignore that. But, uh, let me get up close here for a second. It's just a really nice, like, thick, gel-like consistency. And unfortunately, I didn't get any in this shot if, I, if I'm washing my face and I see any again. But they have these little brown, like, flakes in it, and there's none in this little dollop right here. It's just a really thick gel consistency. Wow, let me go. Can you guys see that? It's just really thick. Like, it's really sticky and honestly, um, it reminds me of, hold on, I'm gonna move this because I'm gonna wash my face and talk at the same time. But, uh, but um, really quick before I get into the consistency again, it foams up really nice. Really nice light gel, but the consistency, I don't know. I'll have to find a picture and I'll definitely insert it in here. But it reminds me of this like jelly candy that I used to get um, as a kid at like Blockbuster or like Hollywood videos. I know that's like forever ago. And it smells really sweet. Like when you open it in the bottle, it smells really sweet. It almost reminded me of like sweet tarts, but when you start washing your face, that like scent like goes away. It's like less. Sweet, it's kind of weird to explain. Alrighty, and then I also wanted to show you guys, whoops, focus. Uh, but I also wanted to tell you guys that I have also been using the Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask as my uh, nightly eye cream, and I love it. I love it, it is so cute. I think the jar is like really pretty. I know that's like, Maybe for some people seems kind of basic and not like, sorry. My camera like for some reason hates me and like doesn't like to focus on the things that I want it to focus on. Again, I really like the bottle. It's super cute and I love more than anything this, I think they said it was a little ceramic ball. Yeah, it's just this cute little ceramic ball and all you have to do, and sorry if I'm like looking away here, you dot on your eyes. I do about like three or four. I think I'm gonna do four today. And then I will kind of rub any excess off here. And then it has this little like massage steps that you follow and it's, um, you kind of swipe here, you pull here, you go under the eyebrow down, you swipe, and then one more time. And so that's all I've been doing is just lightly Doing this up under the brow bone, it says. Sweep past the inner corner and then again. And you're supposed to do that about two to three times on each eye. And then I always like to add anything left over on my forehead and my laugh lines. <laughs> and then you can go in and you can just finish dabbing and I just use my ring figures and I'm just gonna dab really light and just lightly pat that in. I'm gonna bring it up to my forehead and then down again to my laugh lines here. The massage part of it, like my eyes immediately feel firmer afterwards. They feel like kind of tight. Then we'll just use the word firm. Firm's a little bit easier. I think that explains it well enough. And then the 
feeling overall is very cooling and it's super hydrating. Like, I'm not gonna say it just yet, and I say this about just about every eye cream that I get, so just as a forewarning, I always think every eye cream I get is like the best eye cream that I've ever used ever. And uh, I've recently just been using the Sandawa Intensive Eye Contour Cream. Love it, super expensive. This, hands down, this Laneige one, it's amazing. I already highly recommend it. And I'll probably do a more uh, in-depth review video. So all that's left is to apply my moisturizer. I'm still using the Watermelon Glow only because the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream hasn't come in just yet and I want to keep things consistent and only change one major face product at a time. By the way, I don't consider an eye cream as like a major like factor in this. Like the eye cream to me has no bearing on like my acne or anything. So that's a whole separate story, but I thought I'd include it because I was excited about it. But uh, <laughs> so that's the update so far. I'll probably update you guys again once the new products come in the mail, which shouldn't, which should only be like another day or two. So I got my new package today with the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum and the Soothing Cream. I'm so excited, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so just in case you guys know, I'm like totally like a Claire's whore, like I'm a huge fan of their stuff. And here they are. I'm not going to use them this week. I did say that I wanted to finish using my Blueberry Bounce Cleanser for the rest of the week before I start introducing some new stuff. But after that, I think I will start with the soothing cream first and then I will use the soothing serum probably like two weeks after introducing this just to give this enough time to see how it works with the cleanser and then we will go from there. All right, you guys, really quick. Today I get to use the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream in replace of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. It was smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's exactly the same amount as the Glow Recipe Moisturizer. It is 60 millimeters or two ounces, uh, which is the exact same as this one. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it works with the Blueberry Bounce Cleanser because the cleanser has been clearing up my face like crazy. Like you can even look for yourself like my face has cleared up so much just from introducing that one cleanser. So let's pray that this one <laughs> reacts very well with it. But it says a comforting, deeply hydrating moisturizer that contains a rich blend of hydrating ingredients, free of dyes, fragrances, and animal-based components. So yay, it's cruelty free. Simple, white, and it's true, there is no fragrance, like at all. There's absolutely no fragrance, so let's put it on. Ooh. Oh wow, this was like the perfect amount. Oh wow, it absorbed really fast, so that's nice. It's not greasy, it glides on really well. Yeah, it doesn't leave my face sticky or anything. I love that there's no smell, it just seems so clean. Oh, wow, I already really like this, you guys. Then again, I'm kind of biased. I love Claire's. It has worked, almost all their products have worked really well for my skin. The only one I'm not liking right now is their Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. I've seen it have tons of great reviews. I'm just not a fan of the uh, film that it leaves on my skin, which I've discussed before. So I'm actually uh, looking into the Vanilla Co Zero Clean It uh, cleansing balm. That was my favorite oil cleanser, so I'm actually going to go back to that and my skin had a really good reaction to it, so I'm going to do that. And then I also just ordered from The Ordinary um, a couple items that are niacinamide and then one other vitamin C's. I'll, I'll look up the exact names and I'll tell you guys that another day, but yeah. I'm loving this so far, so yay! And then in another, if I have a great reaction to this, during the next two weeks that I use it, two or three weeks, then I will start introducing the Claire's Rich Soothing Serum, which I actually tried in a sample first and fell in love with it like months ago and just never bought the full size yet. So now I have, and I'm excited to introduce that because apparently it pairs really well with this moisturizer too. So I'm 
excited. So if this goes really well, if my skin literally has like zero bad reactions over the next like two weeks, then I'll just go ahead and introduce the serum. I'm just gonna top off now with my Cosrx Low pH pH Barrier Mist, which I will be making a separate review video on, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Gotta head to work now. All right, you guys, so I think we are finally coming up to the end of this month's vlog. And I just wanna say, I finally received my order. I ordered from The Ordinary some niacinamide solution and also their vitamin C solution, which I know you're not supposed to use them together because then they just kinda like cancel each other out. But I'll go into more detail in next month's vlog about exactly how I plan on using those and what for. As you can assume, vitamin C is really good for skin brightening and can also help fight acne as well and also is a great skin barrier strengthening ingredient along with and niacinamide is supposed to be really good for brightening as well so we're going to start working on combating my acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and uh, just acne in general. So but and then I also spoke earlier this month about how I ordered the new oil cleanser from Vanilla Co and I'm going to actually finish off this oil cleanser first before I start introducing the other one. Um, I just want to finish that one, it's almost done, plus it'll give me a little more time to just um, keep the moisturizer as the only changing variable in my skincare routine. Also, next month we'll probably mostly just be introducing some serums, maybe like one or two depending on how things go. But so far I did have a small breakout because it is, it was that time of the month. Thank you, Mother Nature. But I did suffer a small breakout, which thankfully is on its tail end now, and I'm finally getting it to, uh, sorry, I know this is like TMI, but I have some pimples here too. With that said, you guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this month's vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.